Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Sunua and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are talking about escape room board games yeah. because we love escape rooms. Yes. Do you we like do. escape rooms? Yeah, very very much, yeah. We have played basically around 50 real life escape rooms the last year and we also played like almost every single escape room board game. There's a couple ones I think we haven't played. I'm not sure actually if there's anyone we haven't played. I think so, we played almost every single yeah, one. Yeah, I think so too. If there's anything here that you see like, I know of this game, please let us know because we want to play more yeah. escape room All games. Of them. Yeah. Absolutely. In this video, we are gonna do like, this is gonna be like a. Um, a two-sided video is going to be like an overview if you're like oh there's so many escape room games out there we're going to do an overview tell us tell, and tell you what we think are the best uh, series what are the best games where to start if you want to see what escape room board games have to offer so this is going to be like an overview series overview video mm -hmm. and also like uh, or opinions about the different series yeah. of escape room games so just wanted like a brief thing. If you haven't played an escape room or you haven't played an escape room board game, basically they're puzzle games. Even more so with the, with the board game version than the, the real life one. When you're in a real escape room, you get locked into a room and you have to solve puzzles usually in an hour. Solve a lot of puzzles and get out. Yeah. And um, But when you're playing escape room board games, you don't actually have to get out. You don't have to actually have to sit on the table, play the game, and then run out of your apartment or house after you played it. You don't have to do that. You're you can gonna make sit down. that your house rule if you, you can. want to. Or like an out of house rule. Out of house rule. <laughs> you can do that if oh. you want to. But that's the dry, dry yeah. joke. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so uh, basically... This all started a couple of years ago, I don't remember the time exactly, maybe not a couple of years, like more than a year ago, before we did our first escape room, we had already played escape room board games. Yeah. And the first thing that happened was this Kickstarter came around called Escape Room in a Box. Two designers, they were thinking like, we want to do this escape room thing in a board game variant. And they funded. And it took like a year before their game came around and in that time it exploded. There was so many series, so many games, so much stuff. So when the first Escape Room board game, board game came around, it was one of the last ones. But was it good? We will see later in this video. Well, is there anything you want to say like to the introduction of a board game Escape Rooms? Yeah, I think it's a little different from the Escape Rooms themselves. But if you haven't done any Escape Rooms, you should go check them out. If you think you're into this kind of thing, yeah. You should, absolutely, and and these are kind of, if you hate escape room board games, you might not love escape rooms, but they are really different, like yeah. a really different experience. There is, you in a, an escape room you have to like search the room for clues, you have, in an escape room game you have all of it l laying in front of you, so it's um it's a totally different experience. Yeah, it's not, it's, yeah, it is really, really different. So, uh, one thing that we wanted to start off saying, like before, we're gonna go into details. Now, yeah. one thing that we have spoken a lot about in both escape rooms and escape room board games are player counts. Because, let's, one of the escape rooms we're gonna talk about today have a player count of one to, and not three to eight players. Eight. Which is horrible. Like, we played them with two. And we don't need more people. Like, like usually, escape room board games, I would say, are the best way with two or three players. If you are like a group of four, I think we would have fun. But, yeah. but basically, if if you if you if you sit down with four players trying to solve one crossword puzzle, how fun is that? That's not fun at all. No. So basically, it's about there's not enough puzzles in these games to go around to all people. When you are in an actual escape room, if the escape room is big, if you're like five six people, you can go around and search stuff. Here it's just like, oh, I can't look at that because you're looking at it. Or I can't do that because you do it. So all the time, lower player count is where it acts for us. Yeah. I think if you've never done it before, four players would be okay. But more players, eh, not so good. But we're going to talk more about the player counts in the different games. Is there anything we more we should say or should we just jump into a different series of escape room boards? Let's do it, yeah. We just have taken this in no particular order. Just... There are like six different like series or six different games that we are going to go through and talk a little bit about each of them. So let's start off with the one that ended up being one of the last, the first escape room in a box. This is the first edition. I don't know if there's going to be a second edition. We hope so. This is the one. Not that we don't care if it's the second edition, we can play it. It's the same game. More in the same category was yeah. what I was hoping for. Yeah. So 
What do you want to say about this? Um, frankly, I don't remember a lot of this game. It's it's a while since we played that one, but I remember that it was a, a more feeling like an escape room than the rest of the series, because it's got more like small stuff. Th- yeah, stuff. Uh, physical things that you have to open and stuff like that. So that was really neat. Yeah, this is like uh, the, the, the name Escape Room in a Box is pretty correct. Yeah. It has locks, it has keys, it has stuff you have to search for. This is the most like authentic uh, Escape Room experience in a box. The puzzles are fun. It, it's a good game. Uh, as most of these games are, we haven't said if you don't know, most of these games are like once and done. Like for you, if you play it, you can never play it again. But uh, some of them are replayable. Some of them are not. This is not replayable. You can buy like an, uh, a refill pack, which I did. I did back with a refill pack so I can fill it up and game also some other people through the, the experience. But um, the game is fun. It is uh, the most like escape room-ish game like it has, as I said, it, I said this already. It, it has like this tactile feeling of, of actual stuff. Yeah. It's not my favorite of the escape room games, but it was the most escape room game of them all. So if you haven't played an escape room and you don't have any escape rooms around where you live, I recommend giving this a go to, to, to see if you like the, the, the feeling of escape rooms. Yeah. So, anything else you want to say about this? No, I, I remember it was fun, but um, not my favorite, no. It's good, it's fun, get it if you want to. If you don't yeah. want to, don't get it, it's your choice. <laughs> so, that's the first one, That's it's only one game. Some of these series like exploding with games, and one of those is the next one we're going to talk about, which is Exit. We have uh, quite a few here. We have all of them. There are six Exit games now, each of them have a 60 minute scenario. Uh, and it's very, very nice. They are, these are once and done. If you play them once, you can never play them again and nobody else can either. Because you will uh, tear, you will fold, you will cut up, you will destroy, you will write on, you will use up the components of Exit. The game. Yeah, uh, it will not look like a game after you're finished. No, I know a lot of people, they uh, throw it away. I know that a lot of it is recyclable. I just heard that from uh, the Origins uh, live uh, Dice Over Live stream. So they're gonna actually uh, say that in the manual of the new ones, what parts you can recycle and what you can't. Yeah. So please recycle them if you don't want to keep them like us, because we want to keep them for doing videos and looking yeah. good on the shelf, because we like that. And now we're really into escape rooms as well, so we use this as research material yeah. in, in sort of Looking way. to see if there's some cool puzzles that we can transform into the real world with all the signs of escape rooms. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think, like, what are the um, positive notes on Exit? What are the things you like about Exit? Uh, the choice that you actually cut up and uh, fold and destroy the components mm-hmm. in this game gives them a lot of freedom to create create all the puzzles they you can imagine or can't imagine uh, so that's really really cool yeah I like that as you, uh, exactly what you said is one of the, the main positive things for 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 exit versus a couple of the other ones that they can do whatever they want yeah because they can um, think of things that can can doesn't, doesn't matter if it get destroyed because it's gonna be destroyed one of, so yeah if they're fun like all of these series are like this. Some of the scenarios are really good, and some are like, meh, and some are... Mm. With Exit, there's not anyone that was, like, really bad. I think all of them... You have played all except one, right? Yeah, uh, I and so. I've played all six of them. Uh, and they are all good. I think they are on the harder side, like, of all the games. I think Exit all Exit games are the hardest ones. Yeah, but uh, I think it's worth mentioning here that um, each brain works differently, of yes. course, and these are a little hard for my brain, especially to and mine. comprehend, because uh, since you don't have any rules, because they can do whatever they want, so then it makes my brain go like, oh, this isn't allowed, is it? And... Uh, so I make kind of rules for myself, so mm-hmm. I don't see the puzzles they I've chosen to make. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to, to sometimes understand a puzzle. And especially in, in, in this uh, one, there was the last we played. There was a puzzle, there are like hint cards that you can look at if, you, if you're stuck. And there are these solution cards. We looked at the solution card for one of these puzzles, and we couldn't do the puzzle. No. It didn't make any sense at all. I don't know if, an, if it's like an, a translation error or anything, but... But the puzzle didn't make any sense at all. To so, us. 
Yeah, but but like I couldn't understand it. Like I no, couldn't I understand couldn't. how to physically do the puzzle after seeing the solution. No. So, but but as Sunwa said, it's it's really true that it escape rooms and it's puzzle games at all. Like puzzles, uh, the game brains work in different ways. So different people will understand. I will see a puzzle be like, oh, I understand that, and you will be like, I have no idea, and will never understand how that mm -hmm. works. So. Absolutely, exit is is, is good. Uh, I know that a lot of people have said like the, the the first one was the best, the abandoned cabin, which is the only one you haven't played. Mm. I don't know if this is a case of like this is the first one they made, so people would think like it's the best because it's the first they played mm. and that's the most like. Sometimes that happens, like when the first one, oh, that's the best one because it was the first experience of that. Yeah. Like with time time stories, I think the first scenario is still my favorite. Because it was the first experience of Type Stories. Yeah, and then and you, you get a little uh, extra wow factor because mm -hmm. you haven't seen it before. You don't know where the, what, what it is, and, and I think that might be the case here. I It's really hard to, to speak about this because you can't speak about specific puzzles. Yeah. You can't say like, oh, this puzzle was really cool, this puzzle was really cool, because we don't want to spoil the experience for anybody. But I think this is a really good starting point because it's one of the easier ones. This is one of the, the more simple ones. This one is uh, one of the hardest ones. Yeah. They have two more new coming out now. One is easier and one is the hardest they ever made. I think like it's some Orient Express uh, themed mm. thing. So yeah, anything else to add for Exit? Uh, yeah, the, as you mentioned earlier uh, before we started filming that uh, we noticed that they've changed the player count yeah. for these. So we, the old one have two, one two, to six. One to six. And the new one has one, one to two, four. four. And we think that's really nice of them. Mm -hmm. I think they're on the right track there. And for the last one we played, the, uh, what do you call it, the most difficult one? Forbidden Castle. Yeah, you could use uh, extra pair of eyes, I think. Yeah. Um, maybe it's not um, things to do for everybody at all times, but maybe if we had had one other person with us, we would be able to... So some solutions that we need is on hints for. Yeah, one thing I want to say about exit that I don't like is that there's no like timer. Yeah. It's just do it as fast as you can. I like the countdown timer. I like to be under press. I like to, to like when I'm in escape room, if, if there's no clock in the escape room, I just lose track of anything. I feel like, oh, we probably use like two hours now and we use 15 minutes because I lose track of time. And I really want that pressure, which is in some of the other games. And I really like that pressure of only having yeah. uh, 60 minutes or something like that. Yeah. So exit, that's one thing I don't like about exit mm. is that it feel like do it as fast as you can, more like of sitting down, solving puzzles in your own time, more more of that than actually feeling like an, an escape room. Mm. So that's exit. Yeah. Anything you want to add? Uh, they're not my favorite either, but I think they're good, yeah. Yeah, and also it, they're up and down. So you will yeah. find some you like, you'll probably find some you don't like. Yeah. So that's exit and we're going on to unlock which we have here in Europe in these bigger boxes I know in the US there are all the different scenarios are sold in, in, in different boxes I have no idea why at all I don't understand why they do that these are only two of the boxes we have all three but the last box is uh, in, in some trash in Essen <laughs> we didn't have room for I, I, I didn't I I I wish I had it because we it was good. We didn't think we had room. Uh, later on, we discovered that we actually did have room for the what? whole box. Yeah, Where? we did. But uh, could we have brought more games home? We could uh, in uh, in our body's uh, suitcase. Yeah. yeah, we had some space, but we didn't know that at the time, so we uh, had to sacrifice the box of unlock. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. but 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 yeah, unlock is this like exit. Uh, one of just go back to exit for one second uh, like components is one thing that is really interesting yeah. here with the escape room games exit always have like a de couple of decks of cards it has this solution wheel which you turn around to see what you you do and it has some strange items so a little bit more than a deck of card in 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 uh, in exit with unlock it's mostly cards i'm saying that no spoilers it's mostly cards uh, most of I'm these adventures are are card driven uh, they are uh, a deck of cards, 60 cards in each uh, of the scenarios. So it's more of a card driven experience and more of like a, a puzzle focused, like the, the puzzles are more focused. Yeah, it means when you um, like uh, chosen a concept like this, you don't have as much freedom to create whatever you want, like an exit. So uh, you have, it's a little limited. 
uh, in the solution kind of, uh, puzzle kind of way, but I don't see that as negative actually. No, but then again, like they have done so many different puzzles yeah, they in have. this in this kind of thing. They're like, using their potential really good, yeah. Absolutely. There are four different kind of cards. You have like the, the red cards, the blue cards, which are like puzzle pieces that work together. Then you have the machines, which now are uh, actual small like apps or mini games that you have to use in doing the, the app. And they have uh, codes, which you have like, like locks, which you have to unlock. Unlock. Uh, <laughs> to get further in the uh, experience. One of the things that I, I um, uh, yeah, it's an app. That's one of the things I, I yeah, really have to mention. Yeah. Uh, there's an app in this game which you have to use because the hints are in the app, the timer is in the app, everything is in the machines are in the app, everything is in the app. But the app works really, really well. And um, they have a tutorial uh, mission as well. Yeah. That's really nice to get an introduction to the game. Yeah. I don't know how those how those work in the, the America. In the America. In, in the America! I don't know how it works in the US. If if all the boxes have the tutorial, I don't know. But in these big boxes, uh, there's always one tutorial in the box. So there's three scenarios in each box. There have been nine scenarios so far. Uh, most of them have been really, really good. Yeah. They are different. I think it's really fun that they're trying to do kind of different things. Yeah. A couple of uh, puzzles that are like, wow, that's a really cool puzzle. One other thing that you have to do in this game is to, to look at cards, like you have to, to search for numbers in the cards. Yeah, hidden numbers. Hidden yeah. numbers, which is like more of a, which is basically kind of the searching thing in escape rooms. Yeah. So you get more of like the escape room feeling with unlock, I think, than with exit, mm -hmm. uh, because you have the searching, you have to actually like find a couple of things and put them together more, yeah. more than in exit. Exit is more like you get this puzzle card, you read it and you have to understand how to use it. Yeah, that's true, because in, in lock, even if they're not actual objects, you get like cards that represent objects and you can think logically uh, with them and think what would I do if I had the actual objects right in front of me uh, kinda yeah especially in some of them uh, it's more like escape room based yeah. like when you have two items you can f you can f it feels more some of them feels more like escape room uh, games like escape rooms actually like being in an escape room mm. uh, I think like unlock is my favorite series yeah of, of the whole bunch um, of course, I'm saying that early now, so you know the, the rest of the series won't be my favorite, but they might be good. You will soon find out. But yeah, I, I really like Unlock. I think it's um, it's fun. It's also really cool because if you play through the scenarios, I think I think it's kind of a problem that they're selling them like a one packs because like I think it's really good. Like like in 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 the first one. Uh, two of them, two of the scenarios are really or like um, traditional escape room theme, and one is like trying something else, doing something completely different. And when you buy them one on one, you don't really get that, you don't really know that, so you you can't really play them. In, you can of course see the order on this one and buy the order of that, but uh, I think that's really nice with with them being in three three packs like this. Yeah. So to actually because they try something different in all the boxes. Uh, in the second box, that didn't work so well. They did actually one of the worst scenarios we played of all this. We actually gave up because some of the puzzles didn't make any sense. That was the Nautilus Trap. Mm. Uh, Nautilus Traps, I think it's called. It was yeah. an underwater uh, submarine thing, which was really horrible. Like, uh, um, But we didn't play through it all, so I really want to, like, uh, in a few years, go back to it and see... Um, if we think different of it when we don't remember as much. Yeah, because it was... So again, there was a couple of puzzles that we, we had to look up the answer for and it still didn't make any sense. Yeah. And that's a bad thing. Like, if you don't make sense of you know the solution, that's a problem with your puzzle. Mm -hmm. But but all in all, Unlock is, is really well. I, I love Unlock. It's fun. Yeah. I have to agree with you. This is my favorite uh, escape room game series as well. Uh, I think it works that you don't have to... Uh, you, when you're finished, you can uh, basically just shuffle the deck together again yeah. and give it to someone else and they Absolutely. can play it and i think that's nice because um some think that uh, the price you have to pay for this one isn't worth it and then are aren't like on when if they're sitting on the fence trying it they might not try it so if you have an extra game to that you're finished with so Give it away. Let someone else try. Or if you don't want to give it away, you can lend it. Sell to it. Them uh, or lend it to them, and you yeah, can get it back because I want to have my stuff. And uh, the card uh, 
um, what do you call it, concept makes uh, the puzzles. They do a lot of different stuff in this game too, don't get me wrong, but it makes it a little more predictable from mm -hmm. my brain, mm -hmm. so it feels uh, very logical, uh, almost all of it, uh, of yeah. course, yeah. Uh, so if I don't get uh, the puzzle there and then, and we take a hint, we go like, ah, oh, of course. Yeah, L like we do in an escape room, yeah. absolutely. So, that's unlock. anything to add? Um, no, no. I, I think I'm good. Yeah. Okay, so let's get from Unlock or Favorite Series to Deckscape. <laughs> or not Favorite Series. These are three boxes, small boxes. But small can still be good, right? No. These are Deckscape. This is Deckscape Test Time, Deckscape The Fate of London and Deckscape Heist in Venice. These are also decks of cards, <laughs> which have stuff on them. Which are try kind of puzzles. This is this is really interesting because decks of cards can, you can do a lot of different things. You can do amazing things and you can do not so amazing things. And it's really interesting that people do so many different things. Different things, yeah. So basically, we played this. Yeah. Deckscape test of time, and it was okay. That was good. It was fun. Yeah, we had fun. One. Yeah. It was like okay. It's fun, not the best in the world, but it was it was interesting and it was entertaining. And then we got the Fate of London, and the Fate of London is horrible. No, we thought it was really good, mm. uh, but we didn't get. We didn't anywhere. thought it was really good. Uh, it was okay. Okay, okay. And then we got uh, to a point in the game where we were just we are not um, getting past this point. We're stuck here, and then it uh, turned out that we. Uh, should have broken some rules in the game to get... Uh... <laughs> so so basically, like when you're in an escape room and you get to the rule, don't use force, don't break anything. But in that particular room, you had to break something to understand the, the puzzle. That's this game. Yeah. He's like, please don't do this, never do this. And the game is really harsh on it. Yeah. If, you, if you try to do it and you don't, you didn't get, you didn't, was told to do this, you wasn't told to do this. Mm -hmm. And then you had to do it. Stop doing this. Mm -hmm. This is horrible. Yeah, and the other puzzles, or puzzles as well, when we got past that point, wasn't like amazing. And it doesn't make any sense, like the story is like, and everything's like, <laughs> wow. this is like a good review, it's like, this game is, that's, that's my review of this game, I don't want to use any more time talking about it, just yeah. like, uh, there's we... so many good escape room games, don't play this. No, don't. But we couldn't get enough <laughs> of the escape, so we bought... The heist in Venice! Oh, we, we didn't want to like judge beforehand. Uh, many of these escape room games are very different. Uh, in Exit, you can think one of them is really good and the next one is really bad. So we thought we must give this one a shot. And then we got this. And my review of the heist in Venice is... <laughs> <laughs> we were just like looking at each other like this, looking at each other like this is horrible. Yeah. It wasn't fun at all. The puzzle was like... And you have to, this is like, they have a thing, I'm not going to spoil it if you by some strange reason want to play this, but there's a part in this game where you have to like, remember, like 16 things? Why? Yeah, in the thought of this is, uh, is this spoiling, if the, it's, it's set up? Do you think so? Yeah, I don't say anything about okay. what you do in the game, but just like... But you practically uh, get answers things yeah so you don't have to figure it out yourself yeah it's like but, but you couldn't really figure it out else because they made a couple of a lot of puzzles they made when you actually had the answers from the beginning of the game yeah it's like okay we have to make this puzzle but well we don't know how to, to solve it so let's just give them the answer that's not a puzzle that's nothing oh that's the, horrible. I, I think actually this is the, the worst of those three uh, if you take out the rule thingy in the but you can't because when you're playing this thing, yeah, and you I know. Like, like I don't know what to do. Just break the rules. But, but just throw besides it in the that, besides that, I think that one has the best puzzle. Better, 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 than better, that better. One. Yeah. But yeah, but we're probably gonna buy the next escape because that's what we do. We play them all. Yeah. But but for you, this is like this is like for you guys. Don't buy the escape. Uh, and we've said uh, that each brain works differently and stuff like that, and um, that could be the case. So if you if you don't have a brain, <laughs> buy this. It's very good. You get all the answers and you just have to remember all the stuff. So if you're a rain man, buy, buy this. Yeah. No, but seriously, uh, on a more serious note, it's just not fun. Like the puzzles are not fun. 
the 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 theme they're trying to in the beginning i was like okay they're trying to do something different in this one but it just didn't work it wasn't any interesting it wasn't fun it was just frustrating and and horrible mm. so that's more of a review more of pff, more than that because i thought that was a little not good enough yeah but yeah these games are on a serious note not good. Yeah. Not any There's fun at all. There's so many really, really good escape room games. So there are. Uh, we would recommend uh, any other than them. Any yeah. other. So, yeah. no more next escape. Let's not use any more time of on course. the bad stuff. Let's go over to, to the escape good room. The game. This is like the most toy game of them all. Let's, I'm just going to open it because when you look at the components for this game, I open it the wrong way. When you look at the components for this game, you feel like, oh, this has to be a toy. This is like for kids because you get this big plastic thing called the Chrono Decoder. I don't know why it's called that, but it's this kind of thing where you can turn it on. It has a timer. You start it and it makes a ticking sound. Yeah. Mysterious. Mysterious cool. sound. Mysterious sound. Atmos <laughs> atmosphere. You get more <laughs> atmosphere by saying the words like atmosphere. It's here. Okay, so basically this looks like a toy and it's a 60 minute timer, but it's really, really fun. In this base box, you get four scenarios. You can play them all multiple times. Not you can play them, you can, but you'll know the answers and you'll be like, yeah, I know the answer to this one. Yeah, because you played it before. But you can play them, you can play them more times. This is kind of like the the middle point between unlock and exit in replayability because there's some stuff here you fold and write on and tear but you can print it out so everything is like paper and you can just print it out and use it again yeah. which is really 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 nice this is the second most escape room filled uh, game this feels also like an escape room not as much as escape room in a box but this also has some physical things yeah, it has cool. keys that you have to find out the the different codes you put a keys into the chrono decoder and you get a ping or you get a burp and you have to continue and you lose some time but these are really nice there are four scenarios here you have the prison break which is the easiest one you have virus you have the aztec temple of the aztec and the nuclear countdown and i have enjoyed all of these i've played aztec temple and virus yeah you only played two of them i played four uh, and they are all really really nice uh I, there's a puzzle in the, the nuclear countdown which is impossible to solve, but, but it's still fun. When you understand the puzzle, that means when you Google it, if you're in the US, it's going to be okay. But if you Google it and you understand it, it's still fun. So that's minor spoiler, but it's you probably won't understand what it is until you understand what it is. So Escape Room the game, uh, it's really, really nice. There's been a lot of, uh, of expansions for this, but they've been really hard to get a hold of in, in Norway because they have been like, oh, we don't sell this to Norway because they have, uh, thinking about um, uh, translating. Okay. They have already translated the base game and they have translated two expansion packs which we, of course, bought, which is Welcome to Funland and Casino. So the base game is really good. These are garbage. Yeah. I, I really wanted to like these ones, but um, no, um, stick to the base game. That was really fun. Yeah. It was. Like, these are horrible. This one is, you have to be, like, the best at colors in the world. And if you can't oh, yeah. see colors like if the best person. If you're colorblind, good luck. No, but I'm not colorblind. I couldn't see these colors. Yeah, so if you're and colorblind. And there's so many color-based puzzles, Please. and it's it's horrible. I'm not going to say anything more, and, but, but uh, don't buy this. Each eye sees color ob subjectively, so yes. if you disagree on some colors, yeah. You're stuck. And this is Casino. This is even worse. Yeah. Like, the end puzzle of this is so illogical that it's, you just have to guess. You just have to be like, okay, it might be this stupid thing. Oh, it was. Cool. This is so strange. Like, And the puzzles, puzzles are... Meh. But, yeah. but, but the last puzzle was so horrible that I didn't know what to do. We just sat there for like 20 minutes and I said like, maybe it's this stupid thing. And it was. And I got angry because it was horrible. It couldn't be that stupid thing. This is no fun at all. Like these two expansions. I know there's a lot of expansions which I really want to get a hold on because I want to see if there's better. Yeah. But because the base game is really good. And so it's so strange that they made these games that are so much worse outside of tried, the base game. Uh, 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 especially with Casino, they've tried something uh, very different. And um, they've tried, but... Uh, and nice effort. No, not nice effort. Bad effort, actually. But I, I, I agree that I think it's really good that they're trying different yeah, things, different yeah. themes, different kind of ways of doing it. 
but but they must have had play testers. Yeah, maybe, but, but again, each brain works differently. Yeah, but this is like an illogical puzzle. I've spoken to a lot of people who think this is like an illogical puzzle, yeah. which, which makes no sense yeah. at all. But yeah, that's the escape room again. Anything you want to add? I, I feel like I spoke a little bit too much here. Do you, is there anything you want to no, add? No, uh, we pretty much agree on most of the opinions about this game, so uh, I'm fine, yeah. Good. So we're to the last one. Uh, exit, unlock, and escape room the game. It's basically the ones that are the most known and most talked about. But this is the one that may be the least talked about, which is Escape the Room from ThinkFun, isn't it? It's from ThinkFun, yeah. They have made two Escape Room and Escape the Room games. I remember hearing Tom Russell talking about them and I had to try to find them. I couldn't find them, but then a designer friend of mine, uh, Christian Amund Snusby, he wanted to sell them. <laughs> I just love saying his name. I don't know why, it's so strange. Uh, but he sold them really cheap and uh, I bought them and we played one of them, uh, this one. Yeah. We played like a long time ago and then we played this one like a couple of days ago just to have played all the, the scenarios we had. And these are more like family oriented games. Yeah. First off, this game, as I said, three to eight players, that's stupid. Nope. Three to eight players, 90 minutes, that's stupid. Like this is a family game. This is um, easily playable with two players. Uh, this is more like a family style game. Like the puzzles are easier. The puzzles are uh, pretty easy to understand. But it's really fun. Yeah, it is. I think, like, um, if you can get a hold of these, play them. Especially if you have children, or if you just want something that is more like uh, puzzles, yeah. but not too hard. These are some of the more fun scenarios I've played. Both of them, really fun. Some different puzzles, which we haven't seen in any of the other games. Uh, a nice way of doing it. Kind of like the, the puzzle wheel in Exit, if you have played that. And these are really, really fun. What do you think about Escape the Room? I think they've gotten uh, too little attention, yeah. actually. Uh, these are really nice uh, Escape Room games. Uh, a little more family-friendly and easy. But uh, I don't actually... Each time I play an es Escape Room game, I don't need that like uh, huge challenge. Something, uh, just a little activity when I'm trying to... Get just want to solve them. puzzles yeah, and yeah. have fun, basically. Really. And this is the most, like, both of these are really fun. And themes are good as well. I think it's uh, actually interesting to read some of the little history. Yeah, it's more of a story-driven as well, like more story throughout mm -hmm. it. And it's, it's really fun. And yeah, anything else you want to add for that? Like, the puzzles are cool. It's easy, but it's really, really fun. Yeah, I think so too. Cool. That's everything. That's all the escape room games that we have played that's all different series before we end the video we just wanted to answer a question if you have it where should i begin what game should i buy as you already know we have said that unlock is our favorite and i would suggest personally if you're gonna buy something buy this the newest unlock box it has three really good scenarios start with uh, the clown waste one yeah. because it's more of the a classic traditional escape room. The reason why I think you should buy the newest one is because if you buy the first one, then you will get the first one. If you buy, of course, that's like stupid. Wow. But if you get this, you will get a more um, explored universe. They have explored the car mechanics more. They have worked more. They know more what they can do. So you will basically get better games, mm. which is why this is my suggestion for what you should start if you want to play escape room games. What would you suggest? I would to suggest the first unlock box uh, as well i think those, the first uh, or the newest one uh the first this one yes yeah. but you said as well i didn't uh, yeah yeah as well yes. as the new one okay yeah, yeah. so both. both get both is what someone was saying <laughs> no but um i think they've, they've of course gotten better since they've started but yeah. uh i think maybe that those uh, in the first one is more uh, traditional all yeah, of them that's true so maybe you will get um think that's more logical to begin with than the last one because they're doing different stuff yeah that's and true. that's really cool uh but i also want you to um uh, think of escape the room if you wanted to start off a little easier then, for example, exit and stuff like that, because then you get into the concept and the way of thinking when you're solving puzzles like yeah. this. And they're a really good spot, starting point as well. That's true. But basically, 
buy whatever you feel like because all of them are fun except Deckscape. Don't buy that. It's not fun. But the and rest of them. If you really want to buy Deckscape, buy, buy the, the first one. The Test first time. One. Yeah, it's it's okay. So everything is is really nice. Buy it all. Have fun. Play puzzles, play escape rooms, go out in the world and play escape rooms yeah, as well. Yeah, they're really cool. Because escape rooms are awesome. And that's everything for this time. Mm. If you're watching, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thank yeah. you so much for joining me thank again. Thank you. And bye-bye. Uh,